So many women stood up and said, this is what I want, Mr. President, and had access to the eyes and ears and hearts and mind of the, nearly the entire world. This is what women want, is a radical feminist act. And I'm proud to be part of it. But as far as we've come in gender equity, feminism is still perceived as radical. And I want to know why that is. Because no matter which wave of feminism it is you're surfing, if you're surfing any wave at all, why, why, why is it perceived as radical? Why is it radical to think that women are people too? Why is it radical to think that no one's laws or violent hands belong anywhere on our bodies? If that's radical, then what I want, Mr. President, is for American leaders, President Obama especially, to pay attention to the compassionate voices of the radical left. I want you to have and enjoy the passion of the radical left because we are the fuel that could drive America's left wing. Just like the passion of the right wing, the radical right wing, drives the entirety, nearly the entirety of the right wing. Well, and far too many members of what's called the left wing as well. That's, that's not the good part. So in addition to feminism, what are the voices of the radical left that I think the president should pay attention to? Well, ours are the voices from the outermost margins of American culture. Senator Obama himself knows full well the range, the wide range of voices that are fighting for equity in the area of race. He's got the good sense to ignore the violent voices from the radical left and to embrace the compassionate voices of race activism. We've got violent crazies on the left. We do, we got some real nut jobs. And so does the radical right. The left wings, moderates, liberals, and progressives are in place to reason out the passion of the radical left. That's their job, to put some reason into our nutty passions. It is not their job to silence us or invisibilize us. And I don't think President Obama will silence us or invisibilize us. I've just run out of my three minutes. I think I've got one more bit to go. The voices of, of the radical left speak for an end to racism, sexism, and homophobia. We want to end the oppressive systems of class, age, religion, citizenship, looks, and ability. The voices of the radical left speak up for ecological balance. In closing, I am a big Hillary Clinton supporter. I wanted that woman as our next president. I'm a big fan of her radical notion that it takes a village to raise a child that it takes a global village to take care of any individual here on Earth. I'm a big Barack Obama supporter. I'm a big fan of the skills and experience he developed in his years of grassroots activism and village-level activism. In the eyes of the world, I don't want to be seen as an ugly American anymore. I want to be seen as a pretty American. <laughs> I want to be seen as a compassionate, generous, and inclusive American. And that's my voice from the radical left. Thank you.